Well, the city of Janesville is looking into building a $5 million aquatic center for the city, but one of the options is upsetting many dog owners. From our Rock County Bureau tonight, Sean Toll spoke to several dog owners who go to the park almost every day and would lose their park should the city choose that spot. The city council will discuss possible sites at a study session next month, but dog owners who walk the trails of Palmer Park want the city to look elsewhere. Skip, Boo, Cooper, Moose, Sam, and Buddy know each other very well. They come to the pet exercise and training area on almost a daily basis. And for those who live on the east side of Janesville, it's a convenient park. Well, I have other locations. There's Paw Print Park that's on the south side of town, which for a lot of people is uh, a fairly long drive. Uh, but there is no shade there, there's no water there in summertime. Tom Edwards and many other dog owners are trying to get the city to remove Palmer Park from consideration for the proposed aquatic center. Partly because after talking to a couple of people on the council, Edwards says it sounds like Palmer is the most likely proposal. We're very concerned that this entire green space will get bulldozed over and turned into a swimming pool. So Edwards started an online petition and created a website, SaveTheDogPark.com, to get the word out. And in a few weeks, a few hundred people signed up. I think it speaks volumes that that many people have, have been willing to sign the signature. We've not gone door to door. There are other options the city is considering, including upgrading Rockport Pool on the other end of town. Edwards and others I spoke to at the park today said the city told them that it would move the dog park next to the pool if the pool was built there, but Edward says that area is much tougher to walk on and is a lot closer to the highway. Okay, thank you, Sean. Now the committee will discuss the options on December 12th.